Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about modeling parts in SOLIDWORKS. This is a really important skill to have if you are interested in engineering product design or just want to learn how to create three models. So let's get started. And we will continue model the drone. Let's begin by making a sketch on the top plane. Let's sketch a circle. The diameter is 28 millimeters and then extrude it with a blind distance of 16 millimeters. Let's add a chamfer, asymmetric, and it's 3 by 5 millimeters. Let's make a sketch for a cut. Let's begin by making an arc and a line and then a center line. Then mirror the line above the center line. Let's connect these points together. Then closing the sketch by making an arc on the outside circle. The center distance is 10 millimeters. The arc radius is 3.5 millimeters. And the angle is 40 degrees. Let's close the sketch and start making the cut extrude. The cut has blind depth of 4 mm. Next step is to make a circular pattern. The parameters that we need to apply here, the number is 4 and the angle is 360. Let's make a cut extrude, the shaft spacer. Let's extrude a circle of 7 mm diameter and the distance is 0.7 mm. Let's make another extrude, the motor shaft. The diameter is 4.5 mm. And the extrude blind length is 11 mm. Let's create another extrude on the rear face of the motor. The diameter is 5 mm. And the blind depth is 5 mm too. We can use hole wizard to model thread holes for mounting. The center distance between holes is 90 millimeters. And the size is M2. Let's add two points as the location of the hole threads. Now let's model the connector. We make a sketch of two mirror rectangles. The width is 1.7 mm and the height is 1 mm and the center distance is 3.7 mm. And the distance from the rear face is 0.5 mm.
the extrude is offset, the distance is 17 millimeters from the sketch plane. And the direction is up to surface. And make sure that the merge result checkbox is checked. Let's add some fillets on the rear face. The radius of the fillet is half millimeter. Now we will model the lower frame of the drone. First, we make a sketch two perpendicular center lines. Then we sketch a circle, then an arc, and make the arc tangent to the circle. And then we mirror the arc and the circle above the horizontal center line. And then we mirror all the shape above the vertical center line. Then we circle pattern these two arcs 90 degrees above the origin. Now let's add dimensions to reach the final shape. The four circles have center distance of 76.18. Circle's diameter is 16 mm. And radius of the arc is 35 mm. The sketch is not yet defined. So let's see any missing relations that we can add to make it fully defined. We add tangential relation between the arc and the circle. Now we can trim the unnecessary lines. The blind depth is 3 mm. And let's add a 2 mm radius fillet. Now let's use hole wizard to make screw clearance holes at each center point of these four circles. The size is M2 and the direction is through all. Make sure you watch the previous parts of this series and also watch the next episodes when released. So thanks for watching and see you next episode.